In this video, I want to talk about using RStudio to look at the hypergeometric distribution. And the function we need for this one is d hyper. And we enter these in as x, m1, m2, and then little n. So, as an example, let's suppose we want to look at the chance of three successes. In our population, there are eight total people or objects that have our particular property, 12 that did not, and we're selecting a total of five. So if I have eight with a particular property, 12 without, I want to know what's the chance that if I randomly draw five of these objects, I will get three successes. And if we run this, we can see our probability is about 0.238. I could also look at a range using a colon. So I have d hyper 2 colon 4 8 12 5. So this time out of 5, I'm looking at the chance of getting two successes, three successes, or four successes. And so this will output each of the values for 2, 3, and 4. And then I can sum that exact command. And that would give me 0.6898. And that would be the probability that out of a total of five, I get between two and four successes. Now let's look at three particular hypergeometric distributions. For this one, we're going to select a total of zero between zero and 10, where we have 15 objects with a success, 45 with a failure, and we're selecting 10. The next one, our success failure is 30 to 30, and the last one, 45 to 15. If we plot x, we can see the PMF, the probability mass function for this hypergeometric hyper distribution for the case where m1 is equal to 15. We can see that it is very much right skewed. Looking at the one for y, where we have an even split of successes and failures, we can see that this is a nice symmetric distribution. And then finally z, where we have way more successes than failures, we can see that this is a heavily left skewed distribution.